what is up everyone it's ricky 57 to return a chance today's august 17th 2024 and we're gonna hop on and do a quick market watch today is gonna be quick because we only have a couple cards to talk about i didn't really see too much movement on the market this week from last week's market watch but these are some cards you want to just keep in mind in the meantime uh until we get that new ban list i'm hoping uh we get it next week uh that way i can prepare for the regional at the end of the month but kunami does have like a uh I guess a pass of releasing ban list during like events. So I'm thinking maybe the day of LA regional, they might release it. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get it before, but yeah, we'll see what happens then. Dragon and Duel Dust Dragon, first card on today's market watch. Uh, we do have two printings for this card. We have an ultra rare from Photon Hypernova. Uh, but the one I want to take a look at is Battles of the Legend, uh, Terminal's Revenge. Uh, version it's a secret rare. this one's at 32 listings was starting off around like the four dollar price point right now we have it pushing up to five six ninety five and then six ninety nine at the bottom of the first page no big walls on the first page right here so easily could break into that seven dollar price point pretty easily i think this is because there's a lot of branded cards that are like higher rarity and so branded players it's a popular deck amongst the community uh branded players are just going to be picking up higher rarity to maximize their uh, branded build so that's just my 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 opinion on why it's going up uh let me know down below if you guys have any any other opinion maybe it's being used in something else uh some other strategy next up we have allure darkness i just wanted to come take a look and see how this is doing because i've heard that allure darkness is preferably a better uh card to play with the malice archetype than the was it destiny draw or something like that was it destiny draw for, no not destiny draw what was the card destined draw uh, burning draw it was draw something draw oh drastic draw then drastic draw that we were taking a look at on our last market watch uh this one says spanish all monster you control draw three cards uh but this one requires you to have those malice monsters on the field with alert of darkness uh you just get to draw two banish one and it'll trigger the uh, malice monster so it's less set up for alert of darkness and people have been saying that this is preferably the better card to play rather than playing a uh, drastic draw. Uh, we have ultra rares right now. It looks like this one, Speed Duel Torn Pack 3, is at 11 listings, above its market price. As expected, it's a Speed, speed Duel card. We have ultra rares from Phantom Darkness. We have super rares. Uh, we have commons, super rares right here. There's a whole bunch of rarities available for Alert Darkness. I think the only one that's really concerning is the highest rarity, just because there's so many printings. And I mean, the only one that's right now looking like it's high in value are these right here super rare ultra rare, and ultra rare but let's take a look at the alert darkness um ultimate rare oh we also have a secret rare. i forgot we had a secret rare for this one let's actually take a look at the secret rare. technically the highest budget rarity then i thought the ultra rare was but no i forgot this card had a speed to a secret uh was sitting around like 10 ish dollars right now we do only have 13 listings on the market for this card and they are pushing up to 15 dollars 15.99 1888 $19 and then hitting that $20 mark. So something you want to look into uh for your if you're planning on playing maybe Malice. But you don't need to play the higher rarity. If you do want to play the higher high, technically higher budget rarity, uh this secret rare would be it, but there is also one more higher rarity than this. there's ultimate rare. I know that. Uh we have ultimate rares right now at 87 listings. Let's go to lightly play near mint. So it looks like we have our first lightly played unlimited at $65. It looks like it does show that this card has been increasing in price. Uh, back in July, they were around 58. Right now we have them at 65, 75, 76, $80, $80 and heading up to a hundred, a couple listings under a hundred, but yeah, it looks like they, there is a couple, uh, cards, a couple, a couple sales around, uh, around those prices, like the $80 price point. Let's see. Uh, we have first edition selling around 190. That's crazy. Uh, 120 unlimited selling for 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah, so like they are selling for around 80. So yeah, just something to look into. But like I said, if you're a budget player like me, you're not gonna be picking up the higher rarity. But those two higher rarities, the secret rare and the ultimate rare are the ones that are going up. The ones I would be picking up. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't be picking them up because they're so widely available. So I'm not too worried. But there, there's commons available for anyone who just wants to stay budget dominance purge looks like it has been finally starting to go up in price we had this card sitting under ten dollars around eight eight ish dollars right now we have it pushing up to 1430 1469 this was actually a little bit higher uh 
a couple of days ago. They were hitting like the $17, $18 price point, but it looks like prices have settled down back to like around $15.69, $15. So we'll call it a $15 card now. I still think this card has a lot of potential. It's from Infinite Forbidden, so it has plenty of time to grow until next year's 10. That's when we're expected to probably get Infinite Forbidden reprint. So it has plenty of time to grow. Uh, in price and I feel like this is one of those cards that's gonna reach like the 20 to 30 dollar price point But let me know down below if you guys think otherwise Nightmare Throne has been going down in price and I've been wondering why since it's one of the better decks of the format I guess I'm guessing people are expecting this deck to get hit 112 listings on the market uh, I actually missed my opportunity to pick these up for like $20 a piece I saw someone post it on Instagram for like $20 a piece and I wanted to go dive in on it But I was like way too late because it was like I'm not really on Instagram too much. Uh, if I am, I'm mostly on my Yu-Gi-Oh! Instagram page. And even then, I'm not really on it. So looking through stories and everything, I, I never know what's up. So uh, I, I got on it late. And so I wasn't able to cop those uh, that, that sale that he had for $20 a piece. Uh, which would have been like 60 for the place if but I think that was a good pickup right now We have him at 2740 2765 2770 uh, 2275 2774 so they are kind of lower in price than they were a couple weeks ago They were like around 30s a little bit but above 30s um, I feel like this card is gonna increase in price. I don't think you bell is gonna get hit I could be wrong though. It's just my player brain thinking at the moment uh, let me know how you guys feel about Nightmare Throne if you think it's a good pickup or should we stay away from it because it's going to get hit. Uh, Tenpai J Dragon Gen Roko, I thought it was a good pickup around like the $6, $10 range. Looks like this card has been decreasing in price. 139 listings. We have this at $4.95, $4.97, $5, $5, $5, uh, $4.386. I'm thinking people are expecting Tenpai Dragons to get hit as well. Which I could kind of see just because it's a cheap deck. Konami has a history of hitting cheap decks. I think they hit Super Heavy Samurais hit their Link 1 because it was a cheap deck. So they weren't really losing too much money on that. Uh, what's another cheap deck? I think Unchained also got hit. Uh, it was also a cheap deck for a little while. Uh, they hit their Common Monster. forgot what it was. It was the red one. The new red one. Uh, so yeah, they have a history of hitting like cheap decks. So... Maybe this might get hit, although I'm kind of 50 50 on it because we do have Trident Dragon coming out in the tens. Uh, so the tens, um, I think if Konami wants to sell the tens, they're not going to touch 10 pie dragons, so the people will go after uh Trident Dragon. But we'll see what happens if this if Trident if 10 pies don't get hit, I could definitely see this card going up in price. But let me know down below how you guys feel about it. Uh, and speaking of Trident Dragon, if you guys haven't sold it yet, I'm you guys should sell before the price decrease comes in. Uh, it's still holding around like 60-ish, 70-ish dollars it looks like for both the Secret and the Ultra Rare. Um, if you haven't cashed out yet, you have a couple more weeks until we get the 10s. And I'm, I'm just suggesting, you know, this is not a, a, a financial advisement channel. This is for entertainment purposes only. But I, I mean, it's obvious this card is going to go down in price of the reprint so if you're not selling uh I, I don't know what to tell you mirror mage of the ice barrier from battles of legend looks like let's see is it going up i thought i saw this going up a little bit we do have a slight curve on the graph yeah it's starting to go up uh these were i think i picked some up around like two ish dollars about a month or two ago right now we have them at 345 346 360 368 369 uh 373 and then pushing up to 375 so it's trying to make its way up to the four dollar price point i feel like this card has a lot of potential i've seen a lot of sprite builds uh throwing at least one copy of this card into their builds and i don't think sprites are gonna get hit if anything maybe sprite elf might come back uh but we'll see Fingers crossed because I do want to play that uh, Link Monster again. Uh, but yeah, it's been... Sprites have been performing. I think they're going to continue to do good and dominate them in the meta. Uh, be one of those... I guess I, you could call it like Tier 2, Tier 1 strategy. No, it's Tier 2. I, I want to call it like Tier 2 strategy. Uh, so I could see this card maybe push up to like the $5 price point later on. Uh, once Sprites start doing good in the format again. Or continue to do good in the format again. Dio Ball is the original scene keeper. This is from Legacy of Destruction. I thought this card was going to go up in price because maybe it was going to be splashed into like Illusion uh, Chimera builds. 
But unfortunately, it's been going uh, down in price. I still feel like it'll have its moment someday in the meta. 100 listings at the moment. We have a one listing over here at 375. So you want to come cop this. Uh, there's a deal right there. I I'm not going to pick it up. I already have my copies. Uh, 598 725 684 $7, and then 719 I picked mine up for like around $10, $11, so I'm minusing at the moment. But like I said, I feel this card still has potential. It's from Legacy of Destruction, so it's not going to get reprinted until probably next year's 10. So we have plenty of time for this card to grow in price and see if it, it moves up. Let me know how you guys feel about the Balls original Sync Keeper. If you guys agree, it might be a good pickup at the moment. I've seen Destiny Hero Destroy Phoenix go up in price a little bit. And I think that's mainly because of the new Evil Hero support. I saw a build that turbos out, uh, is able to turbo this out and finish their end board on this with the new Evil Hero support. Uh, so I just wanted to come and take a look and see how it's doing. I, like I said, I did see it going up in price. So yeah, look. It looks like it has been going up. 44 listings on the market. We had this card sitting at a low price point of like 382. And that's finally pushing above the $4 mark. Trying to reach the $5 mark. And we have a $6 listing right there. So yeah, it could pretty much uh, be like a 5 to $6 card at the moment. Uh, two printings available. One from the 10th. And then we have a Seeker Rare original from Burst of Destiny at 52 listings. Uh, this one looks like it is pushing up to the six seven dollar mark already The other one's more like around five to six dollars, but I could see it increasing in price unless it gets a reprint uh, If it doesn't I'm pretty sure evil hero hero players are gonna uh, Want to pick these up to try to test out in their hero evil hero builds Madochi salon looks like it never went up in price even though they got some new support it looks like, it doesn't look like the support uh, really helped the deck that much because I haven't seen them top. Uh, 36 listings on a market. We have this at $18.99, $19.28, $20, $19.32, $19.61, $19.64. And it looks like by the graph it shows that it's just been going nothing but down. Uh, about a week ago, it was sitting around like $22. Right now we have it under $20. So let me know how you guys feel about Madolce Salon. If you guys think it has potential to go up in price later on in the future. Or should we just sell now and cut our losses? We've been taking a look at a couple of the Bicycle cards over the past couple of weeks. We took a look at uh, Baldrake and Drewsworm. and both of them are kind of going up in price. We're going to be taking a look at Sarnir today, see how it's doing. It has two versions available, a Prismatic Secret Rare from the 10th, and it has a Super Rare from Darkwing Blast. We'll start off with the Darkwing Blast version. Uh, 82 listings on the market. We have this at 249, 268, 269, 295, $3, $3, and 314. Uh, so it looks like it's like around a $3 card. Uh, next one is 72 listings. We have this one sitting at 390, 438, 461, 475, 497. And then uh, basically like a four to five dollar card for buy steel. Uh, Jewish, uh, I mean, buy steel Sarnier. This one is the one I feel like is use more in the branded strategy uh so maybe you could see an increase in price because not only is it good against like the fiends Smith strategy which is popular at the moment but for branded players like i talked about in the beginning it's a popular deck they might be wanting to pick up their copies of sarnir to maximize their um their rarity on their in, in their in their builds and like i said sarnir is the one they they uh play mostly because it has an effect to dump a by steel or branded spell or trap card from the deck so it has dual like you know usage uh we have blaze supreme ruler of all dragons this one we took a look at for its quarter century secret but it looks like now it's secret rare is under like 100 listings under 50 listings only at 33 listings at the moment uh, so something you want to pay attention to we have this card at two dollars two dollars two ninety nine three dollars 262, 20, 274, 282, so almost reaching that $3 price point. Uh, next card we want to take a look at is Sang Pai Transcendent Dragon. Actually, I went through that fast, my bad. I'm running on like two, hour, two hours of sleep, so um, I'm, I'm just trying to get to bed as soon as possible. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why this one is going up. We're going back in a bit. I'm not sure why uh, Blaze Supreme Ruler of Dragon is going up. It's a rank seven. The only deck I could see really playing this is Cash Chero. And I feel like there's better options out there to play. It says, once per turn you can detach one material from this card, destroy two cards, one from your hand or field, and one card your opponent controls. You can banish a total of two fire or dragon monsters from your hand and or a graveyard. Plus some of this card from your graveyard, but return it to the extra deck when it leaves the field. So 
Yeah, I don't I don't know other decks that could run this besides like Cashier since it's a rank seven monster. But if you guys have any idea what other deck could run this, let me know down below. Now we're moving on to Sangen. Sang Sangen Pi Transcendent Dragon. Uh with the reprint coming in for Trident Dragon, it looks like players are picking up other cards. Uh Related to uh, to the Tenpai strategy, we have this at 78 listings right now. We have it above a dollar. It was under a dollar for, I guess, since it came out. But right now we have it reaching 146, 149, 150. And then we have $2 right here on the first page. No big walls. Do we have any big walls? No big walls on the first page. So yeah, it could easily reach that $2 mark sooner rather than later. So if you guys haven't picked it up yet, uh, go pick it up. If you guys maybe did pull some of these, go dig through your book and maybe hold on to them or sell them off right now since they're almost at $2. Uh, Mass Hero Dark Law. This one I thought was a good pick up around like the $15, $17 price point. I feel like it could still uh, go up in price, especially since, you know, heroes, evil heroes got support. Maybe there's something you can make in that strategy. Someone's going to figure out a way to turbo this card out. 51 listings. Technically, it's the highest rarity. I mean, there's ultimate rare. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like... I don't know what you guys consider higher rarity. To me, it's the one, there should be like a tier for like, you know, a higher rarity and like, it. I, I don't know. That's a conversation for like something else. Some people think like a super rare from like a, a champion pack is, or like a tournament pack is higher, a higher rarity than like a super rare uh, or a quarter century rare, like a book of moon. I know there's a book of moon that's like super expensive. That's worth more than like the quarter century uh, seeker rare so it kind of confuses me what you guys consider like higher rarity it, it's i guess it's subjective but that's like i said that's the conversation for another day uh so but this one technically it's a high rarity to 14 dollars 1539 1559 1563 and then 1480 82 uh like around a 15 inch dollar card i feel like it has potential to double later on in the future uh especially once we get those evil heroes i don't really know if you could turbo this out in them but i'm Pretty sure someone's gonna figure it out. Uh, seventh extension. I want to come take a look at it again. I know we took a look at this card a while back, uh, back when we were supposedly supposed to get like some shark support or water support. Forty three listings on the market at the moment. It was hyped up uh, to the price point of like above ten dollars. Now we have it at six thirty three, five thirty five sixty eight, five thirty nine, six thirty five, and then six dollars and ten cents. So if you guys haven't picked this up and were planning to pick up, pick it up, like I said, usually when we get support, card gets hyped, when cards get hyped up, and then they come back down after like a month or two once people forget about it. So this will be your chance to come and pick it up in case you guys uh, did not pick it up earlier. It's down in price from what it was a couple months ago. And last card on today's market watch can be Dark Illusion. So I'm not really sure why this one is going up too. Let me know down below if you guys play like older formats. Is this something you use in the older formats? But it's a pretty good card after reading it. It says, negate the activation of a spell card, trap card, or effect monster effect that targets a face-up dark monster and destroy that card. So it's a pretty good counter trap. Uh, we have the, what is it, super rare? Uh, was sitting around like, a dollar right now we have it pushing up to 397 three dollars 495 495 uh 385 and i guess that's like the five dollar price point with shipping so i want to say five dollars for this super and it was a dollar so and it's only at 19 listings we have rares also at 46 listings are these going up too looks like they did go up a little bit according to the graph uh almost reaching the dollar price point still not there yet under a dollar but yeah, almost reaching the dollar price point. Then we have comments from the structured deck. Merrick, that's a pretty old structured deck, right? Uh, these are under a dollar, so you guys don't have to worry. You guys have accessible versions. But if you guys want the higher rarity, the super rare, yeah, that one's going up in price. So something you might want to look into. That's going to be it for today's Market Watch, though. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and X at Return of Chance. This is Ricky572, and we'll see you guys next time.